All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. So first of all, I want to apologize in advance. Uh, if you hear any background noise uh, coming from this video, it's because there's construction going on around my place. So if you hear anything that sounds like an avalanche, you know why. OK, so we got some Halo news and it's kind of big and uh, it's a rumor. As of right now, as of the recording of this video, this is not confirmed true, but it does seem very likely based on the people who are reporting it. So the news is Halo Infinite is being delayed to December 8th, or at least sometime in December. And I say sometime in December because December 8th is a Wednesday. And games usually do not release on when on Wednesdays. Usually it's a Tuesday or a Friday. So I can't really fathom why they would be releasing the game, releasing the game on December 8th, unless there's something I'm missing or not realizing about that week in December. Um, yeah, I couldn't possibly fathom why they would release it to smack dab in the middle of the week. That is that doesn't make much sense to me. And this is being uh, reported by several people in the industry, such as Tom Warren. Um, and I'm implied to believe it since Tom Warren pretty much retweeted the, the source and said it as like a declaration. He, he said it as a statement. Yes, Halo Infinite is being delayed to December. And since he has somewhat close ties to Xbox, I believe, and some inside information to the industry, um, I don't believe he would uh, put any misinformation out there or retweet this report, this leak, unless he... Uh, had some reason to believe it was actually true. Also, Nebelian and WCCF Tech uh, have reported this rumor, and this is based on a, a listing on the Microsoft Store. I believe it's a foreign version of the Microsoft Store. I don't remember uh, which language, it, language it's in, but it's not English. Um, so, December, right? We know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of implications with this, right? Because Xbox fans have been waiting for a, uh, a Halo game for a long time with the launch of these new consoles. Let's be real. They've been waiting for a game for a long time to validate the purchase of their console. And that that's just being real because they really haven't gotten anything from Xbox first parties. Right. This was this was mind you. Remember, this was the game that was supposed to launch with the Xbox supposed to be an Xbox launch game. Got delayed a whole year. Um, and even though the it never got a release date for November, I believe Phil Spencer um, acknowledged that they were aiming for November um, or that, the you know, it was implied that it was definitely going to be November. It definitely wasn't December. Right. The fact that it's releasing the and we're going to assume this is true once again, not confirmed. But in this video, I'm going to talk. We're going to uh, assume that it's true so that. Obviously, I don't have to make have to make a video if it's confirmed after I release this video. So we're going to assume it's true. It releasing a game in December screams desperation. It screams desperation that you don't want to release it the next year because nobody wants or intends to release their game in December. It's just not a sexy month to release games because you're missing you're missing out on a on a lot of uh you know, spotlight and sales and a lot of the holiday season, even though Christmas obviously is the 25th, you want to release it earlier in the holiday season around Thanksgiving, Black Friday and all those, you know, other holidays that I'm not naming and acknowledging because I know when we think of holidays, we think of Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, but there are obviously other holidays that people uh, celebrate. Right. And those can drive sales. So they really don't want to push this game to 2022 because, I mean, optically, it looks bad. You know, those good old optics, um, they're losing out on a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the marketing. Because remember, they had marketing uh, from the first time, the first year that it, it, it was uh, it was delayed. So now to push it back a whole nother year, they're losing out on on more marketing, losing out on money, as I said, from the from the holiday season and let's let's we also have to acknowledge that uh game the game of the year situation right um this pretty much has no chance of winning game of the year now right obviously not this year and next year because launching in december 
that's past the cutoff point. I don't remember exactly what the cutoff date is for get for a game of the year, but I think it's sometime in late November or something like that, right? So you're not qualified to even be nominated this year, launching in December. And let's be real, games that launch in December pretty much are forgotten um, as game of the year nominees next year, right? And and Halo is a big enough IP that it could be the you know it could be the exception to the game that launches in November but still gets nominated the following year. Uh, it it can launch in December and still get nominated the following year uh, in November, December, November. Uh, confusing the damn months. Yeah, it can launch in December and still get nominated in in November, right? Because it's it's that big of a deal. And the game, if the game is that good, you know, it gets rave reviews and everything and everything like that. It could definitely still be acknowledged, but that recency advantage is very real, right? When it comes to game of the year, sometimes, not saying this is a huge factor, but it is a factor that how recent the time you launch your game in, in because it's in the mind of the people, it's fresh in the mind of the people, matters to how they consider you and uh, nomin uh, nominate you for game of the year because it's it's a big thing to be fresh in people's minds, right? But launching in uh, December definitely does not help you with that situation, okay? It definitely doesn't help. Uh, so y'all can kiss game of the year goodbye, especially on top of the fact that this year was, was the best situation that Halo could win a game of the year uh, because there wasn't that much competition, right? I don't think it was gonna win game of the year this year anyway, but it had a much better chance than next year, which Horizon, God of War, Breath of the Wild 2. Oh yeah, there's there is stiff competition next year. There's no way, no way it, it's gonna win game of the year next year. That's not even possible. Maybe nominated because they want you know they want to be nice, but there's no way it's actually winning. That's not happening. Um, I actually thought what I thought they were going to do was they were going to launch the multiplayer on time and delay the single player into into next year. That's what I thought they were going to. I thought that was a logical move. Right um, now, there it is rumored that they are going to announce this re this release date, this delay uh, at Jeff Keighley's opening night live, which I will be live streaming. I will be doing a live reaction to that. And that's at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? And let me say that this delay feels very, it, they are killing me with this noise. They are killing me. I apologize, y'all. Um, this delay feels, no cuts. No cuts, y'all. We just we just gonna go through it. No cuts. They're just fucking with me now. This delay, impl this day delay, feels very cyberpunkish. Now, let me be very clear. I don't think that Halo Infinite is gonna launch broken, buggy, problematic like Cyberpunk did. But it's the 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 similarities of it going through all these delays. And then ending up launching in December feels very cyberpunkish. The framing of the delays and it landing in December, that's what makes it feel very, very cyberpunkish. I think the game is still gonna do great. The multiplayer is free to play. People are gonna love that. The multiplayer is gonna be great. The single player is gonna be, at worst, an okay single player. That's, that's at worst, right? And at least with this, I mean, I don't even know if this means that if they delay it, that they'll be able to include uh, co-op and, and forge mode because that's what people were really upset about. I don't know if this delay implies that, but I, people are going to be real upset if it's delayed and then, and then the, co the campaign still doesn't have a co-op option and it still doesn't have forge. Because I'm going to be honest with you, if... I feel like you might as well launch next year if you're going to launch in December. It's practically next year. You know, it's just December is just not a sexy month. So I, I don't know. Um, it's uh, it, it's I guess, you know, December is just the best middle ground for them. It's the best option they have right now. And once again, I just I, I think this this rumor is definitely true because a lot of stuff 
regarding Microsoft IPs, they get leaked pretty easily and they usually end up they usually end up true, right? A lot of these uh uh you know that this this information about Microsoft IPs and you know any everything going on in the inside of Microsoft for some reason, you know, the they just can't hold their water um for whatever reason and things always leak right before shows. Um so it's unfortunate. Um, it's definitely unfortunate for, for uh, you know, Halo fans, Xbox fans. The optics are not not exactly great because of this. And um, yeah, December is rough because that's no man's land. That's that's literally the forgotten zone. That's where games go to be forgotten and and disregarded and cast aside. Halo's big enough that that won't happen to them as drastically as it as it has happened to other games. But, you know. It's it's not the best uh, it's not the best best launch month. Uh, so let me know what y'all think about this. Once again, I, I apologize for the uh, the background noise. They've been doing they've been doing this all morning. They've been doing it all yesterday. It just sucks. Uh, but hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I um I go live. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter if you're not. And I will check y'all on the next video. I'll see y'all at my live stream later today. Everybody's just making noise. Everybody's just hitting me up. Yeah, everybody just wants to mess with me today, clearly. But I appreciate y'all. I'll check y'all on the next video. Peace.